So again, I don't know ever. So again, I don't ever know how to start a video. What's your problem? Sit down. You ready? Boom. Fastest dog alive. Prove me wrong. Okay, so if you don't know, um, I got rid of the Subi. Uh, I think it was time. I liked, I liked the car a lot. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed it. But it was time to do some grown man stuff. So I bought myself a dad truck. But it is a fucking diesel that I've wanted, so I'm happy. I'm like a little kid, you could ask every one of my friends that does know about it. I'm ecstatic about this fucking truck. It's pretty nice inside. Um, if you if you give a shit, then you know, cool. If not, then you can go ahead and just tell me to fuck off. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I do like the little wood grain that they put in here. Super, super clean. I don't know if you actually give a shit about the truck, but I have nothing else to talk about because there's nothing crazy exciting in my life right now, especially during all this bullshit. So anyway, I've done a couple things. I got the windows tinted ASAP. That was like the first thing I did. Uh, there, it's, it's limo all the way around. I, <laughs> I wanted a limo. I wanted it to be black. Um, I also had... I also got bed liner, the spraying bed liner. It had the little... The fucking, they had the little slip in one, not in like the plastic one, so I got the spray bed in liner, which is really good. I like it. I did a really good job. I did get a nice birthday present from my sister, and I'm gonna put these in because these don't have any, and I need them. These. Excuse me? We want. <laughs> you woo! <-hoo. laughs> he likes to talk back to me. I don't he's like a toddler, but he's technically <laughs> He's technically 49. He's seven, right? He's seven, isn't or he's gonna be He's gonna be seven this year. He's an old man, he's 49. And he talks to me like he's 12. Well, there you have it. The excitement I've had for the past four months. Four months. Well, I like the four months, cause they're nice. They're like buckets. All right, so as you can tell, it's a probably a different day. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I'm gonna be real with you. I've been having a hard time just coming up with stuff to record. Sorry, I hope the radio is not too loud in the background. I don't want to walk all the way over there and turn it off. Because I feel like every time I want to record something, it has to be something cool or interesting. And it's just... It's not always like that, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I think I just need to get used to just showing every day you know i might even take my i might even start taking my camera to work a couple times maybe just so you can see what a regular ass day is you know instead of trying to just show off which i feel like that's what i was trying to do which isn't the right thing to do so but i'm totally gonna contradict myself because i just got something cool but i didn't buy it I w it was given to me so i'm gonna show you a little project i picked up hold on i'm gonna go turn on the radio because that shit is loud I don't know why I turned on that loud. Let me show you what I got. It is go kart. It's a little shifter cart. Um, I forgot the name of the frame that it was. They did tell me. I got it from a buddy at work. He wasn't gonna use it anymore, and he asked me if I wanted it, and I said yeah. I mean, this thing's cool though. I mean, look, look how fucking huge these tires are. That's insane. That's insane. 
but it does need some work but overall it's not bad like the frame's not bent there's not really any crazy holes you know what i'm saying there's just some ugly shit like whatever the hell this is that somebody welded i don't know what the fuck that's all about but you know it's not that bad this is for the seat i think they just cut it off but yeah i'm excited for this this i think this is gonna be a cool little project so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna degrease it, power wash it, and clean it up. Maybe hit it with the wire brush a little bit, and then. Uh This is the motor I have for it. It's uh, one of those uh, Harbor Freight, it's a Predator 212 motor. I had it on my mini bike at one point, but uh, mini bike took a shit. I kind of got to find a spot where to even put the motor. I imagine somewhere in this general area probably. Probably somewhere like that. The seat's gonna be like right here. Hold on, let me go get the seat. I need to try to figure this out. This is the seat. The seat's not in bad shape. It's not great, but it's not bad. Nothing to com complain about. Something like that. Damn, I don't know. Motor would be right there. I'm gonna get some bolts and try to hold in the seat and see what I can do. Alright, I kinda got the seat in place, but um I can already tell this is a problem. Obviously, spark it and line up with the seat. So probably have to move the spark it over. Here from here? Mm. And then put another straight section in. Or you could do it here. Probably do it easier at that street. But the sprocket's already right here. Yeah. Hitting the seat. And the clutch is right here. And the clutch sits farther inward. Yeah. And I, I already tried moving it, but I can't move the sprocket anymore because then it's going to hit the frame right here. Yeah. I mean, you could widen the frame if you had to easily. At least with that one, but I haven't. I was going to try to ride. I mean, a lot of people do like, you know, like 125s. Do what you gotta do to, to get the seat mounted good, and then you strip it all down, sandblast it, and then paint it. Yeah. All right, well, kinda heard my dad come in, talk about it. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely figure out a seat situation before anything. <laughs> but it does kinda seem like we are gonna have to, sh oh, it does kinda seem like I am gonna have to stretch this out a little bit, maybe widen it and possibly, oh, length wasn't too bad. I, my legs actually fit pretty good, but. I might have to widen it depending what motor I get. Um, again, I can't use that. I can use that Predator that I have, that little 212. But honestly, kind of want to do something pretty outrageous. Yeah, that'll be it. So, I oh, was just trying to fuck around with it a little bit today, not really dive too much into it. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys, and as always, don't subscribe, leave hateful comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.